Over time, people want to change the way that their smartphone looks. Depending on what platform, that may be easy or not so easy to do. But we always want to refresh things. On Android, that's not difficult, especially when you're running Tile Launcher Beta. I'm Joe Levi. This is Pocket Now. Let's go take a look. This app is called Tile Launcher and it tries to emulate Windows Phone 8 with its nice tiles. You can rearrange them, you can resize them, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. Uh, you can put widgets in here, you can see that I've got widgets down at the bottom, I've got widgets over here. Pretty much the only thing that these tiles don't do is animate like Windows 8 Live tiles. But you can do a whole bunch of other stuff with them. Adding tiles is as simple as coming in here, let's take our barcode scanner, drop it right there. If I want to modify that, I can tap it and resize it whichever direction I want to go. I can move it by long pressing and moving it around. I can tap the wrench icon to go in and change the name if I don't want this to be barcode scanner, if I just want it to be nothing, put a space in there. I can change the background color um, or image to whatever I'd like. Let's do a different color in here. Choose a color and then tap on the color picker. Let's choose that bright lime green and save that. And now I've got it. I can do lots of stuff. If I want to change some of the settings, launch your settings in here. General lets me change the theme from light to dark. Icon pack. I've got all of these kind of built in if we want to change to an iPhone-like theme, you know, an Android phone running a Windows 8-like skin with an iPhone icon pack, you know, you can do that. With your workspace, you can either show or hide the launcher. You can define how many screens you want, how many rows on those screens. When you get over here to tiles, you can change the background transparency of them, all kinds of fun stuff. You can even change whether you want this to scroll horizontally or if you want it to scroll vertically. So I've got mine, so it's scrolling up and down rather than side to side now. I can also set up another screen that has favorites on it. I haven't done that. And I, of course, can customize my wallpaper. This also, switch over here, looks pretty good on a tablet. The first device that you saw was my Nexus 4. This is a Nexus 10, much larger, you can see, with horizontal scrolling set up. If I want to add something, again, let's just do a quick widget add here. Let's add another analog clock, just because we can. And we'll put that right there. We can even move that off to the side a little bit. So now we can see it just peeking in off the side. Really kind of cool. It's currently in beta. It's available either from XDA developers as an APK or from the Play Store. We'll have a link for you over at pocketnow.com. It's not as feature filled as some of the other launchers that you may know of, but hey, you know, it does exactly what it's supposed to. It's quick. It lets you do a really neat kind of uh, Windowsy or non Androidy look on your Android powered device. I think it's kind of neat, and I'm probably going to run this for the next couple days. What do you think about it? Head over to pocketnow.com and let us know your thoughts in the comments over there. And you know, while you're at it, why not tell your friends about Pocket Now on Facebook or Twitter? On Twitter, we're at Pocket Now Tweets. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.